Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review. I'm your host, Sarah Stevens, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. And tonight, we will be reviewing, um, let me see, Dante's, Dante's Peak. Yeah. That was done, released in 1997. It's an American disaster film. Yeah, uh-huh. and don't mistake it for Volcano. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's got, didn't it come out about the same time? Those yeah, Jane both hmm. studios were... They were competing against one another to get their film finished in time before they release it. And the race is on. Yeah, unlike when we were reviewing the Tower Inferno, in two um, studios were doing two separate building fires films. They decided to collaborate, but this these two film um, companies decided to beat each other at their own game by trying to get their work finished in time. Something like that. Hmm. <laughs> this is what I've read, guys. Well, it does explain a lot why two Volcano movies were um, out at the same time. But yeah, Not at the, the same time, maybe just... Well, at <laughs> the similar time. But the point, the point is, whether you like these sort of movies or not, um, they're two different storylines. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, there's a volcano in it. Gee, that's why it's called Volcano on the other one. And this one's called Dante's Peak, which is about volcanoes. Yeah. Excuse me, I've got a cough now. <coughs> it's kind of good that they didn't yeah. call it Volcano for this one because then that would be confusing, guys. Well, yeah, but the, the name of the mountain was Dante's Peak. Mm-hmm. So they named it after the mountain. Oh, ah. Dante's Inferno. Hey, well, like, <coughs> hey, they could have called the other one La Brea Tar Pit. That's where, the, that's where it started. Mm, true, uh-huh. true. All right. Okay. So anyway, um, mm. let's discuss um, who directs it all and, good, all good. <laughs> and all the good <coughs> groovy me. things we often discuss. <coughs> you know, I've had this cough for over a year now. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. And it's nothing, I'm not dying or anything. It's just, it makes it hard to breathe. Okay. Anyway, produced by Gail Ann Hurd and Joseph Singer. Directed by... Roger Donaldson. Yeah, good thing about Roger Donaldson is he knew about a bit about volcanoes. You know, he was a volcano student in probably in school uh-huh. and knowed, um, knew a lot, a little bit about this. Well, sort of thing there you go then. Before folks. he started getting into filmmaking. Anyway, and the story I gather has been written by somebody by the name of Leslie Bohm, B O H E M. Now, budget, 116 mil. And actually, you can see where they spent the money. A lot of CGI and other good groovy things are going on in this mm-hmm. movie. Uh, box office at 178 mil. So they made some money back on it, which is nice. nice. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh, crikey. So, let's discuss yeah. um, who stars in this thing. Well, I'm not going to go for everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm only going to mention two main stars. You can rattle off and talk about other people, but... Mm. The main leads are Pierce Brosnan has Harry Dalton, who is a volcanologist, whatever. Yeah, yeah. originally yeah. it was going to go to <coughs> Michael me. Douglas. Oh, you really? may know him from um, Jewel of the Nile or we, I, I think and they know Romance Douglas. of the Stone. And I know and, his daddy. And a number of yeah. other movies you may have met, seen him in. And he's married to Catherine we'll Zena Jones, Lucky I think. Lucky man. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, Linda Hamilton. Plays Rachel Wando. She's the mayor of this little country town up there in the hills. And uh, Linda, as we know, okay, you want to say she was in Terminator. Yes, yeah, she's been in both two, the um, one and two, and the new one that came out not too long ago. Whoa. Which I'm not. I'm not going to bother reviewing. Well, we may not. We don't know yet. <coughs> I mean, I haven't even seen it yet. I can't, can I? It's not been done yet. Anyway, well, it's already been released. Oh, it has um, been? I didn't know that. But See, you're, you're more up to date than I am. Here. Mm-hmm. It's just not really... Um, I just like the um, the first two Terminator movies. I'm not a fan of all the um, other ones. Because they keep going, mixing up the plot. Like, one minute mm-hmm. we'll, where... Um, <laughs> We're, we're, we're halfway home through the story and the next minute we're back to the beginning again and then they change the plot and then we have a TV series. All that stuff comes into it and it gets a little confusing. Well, you still reckon they should terminate the, the franchise? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, mm-hmm. so um, I'll go. start Actually, I'll give a quick, Can I give a quick overview? Yeah, go over. The, the film is set in a fictional town of Dante's Peak. Where the inhabitants fight to survive a volcanic eruption mm-hmm. uh, from a long dormant stratovolcano that has suddenly woken up. 
Yeah. And the film was released uh, February '97 uh, through Universal Pictures. Uh, you know, it's a Universal Pictures and a Western Productions uh, picture. Uh, it, it, I won't get on the reviews. I'll talk about it later. Mm. But it was the third film collaboration between Gale and Heard and Hamilton. Who is mm. Hamilton? Um, um, that would be. Um, hmm. Hmm. I've got notes here. Hmm. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, moving on. Oh, Linda. Linda. Oh, yeah, Maybe. Linda. And both previously worked in the first two term. Yeah, the first two oh, terminators. Oh, yeah, Hamilton. Films, yeah, Sorry, guys. Why don't you put the full name in there? Yeah. I don't yeah. know, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Uh, How rude. One of the many reasons why often, often enough, I, when I get notes together, they always refer uh, the first... Put the um, actor's name by their last name. Don't mm. know why. Well, anyway, irrespective. There were Gail Hurd and Linda Hamilton obviously worked together on a couple of Terminator movies. Mm. There you go. Yes. Ah. Now, so, if you want, you can go on to the plot now, my dear. Yes, yeah, so it starts where in Colombia and a volcano is erupting and people are scattering, running to their cars or running to the nearest transport and try to get out of the town. Going to the nearest exit, folks. And Dalton, our hero, is um, trying to get his girlfriend, um, what's her name? <laughs> Um, hmm? no, what's her, um, her name is um, Marianne. Marianne is um, a dedicated volcano just too, and she wants to stay for the show. But unfortunately, Dalton wants her to get the gear together it and, wasn't very safe and there. get going because it was a dangerous dangerous climate. Yeah, there's big rocks falling down all over the place. Yeah, and all, lava, yeah well, lava getting rid of the well, flow. And, yeah. Actually, there Ash- was a lot of rocks f- f- yeah, falling well, here and that. there. Yeah. Rocks, yeah. So they get into their yeah. car, they drive, 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 but then one of the volcano rocks hits through the um, roof, car, of the car. roof of the car and breaks mm. her head. It hits, on, it hits on the side of the head and kills needless her. to say. And kills her instantly. That speed rocketed more damage than you would think. Yes. Mm. Mm. Then five years later, he, um, dear old Dalton is uh, still working hard again, you know, doing volcano stuff, and he's on holidays. But then he gets called back to work by his his boss, telling him about a new possible v- volcano occurrence that might be happening in Dante's Peak. Hey, so we'll mention his boss, uh, that Charles uh, Hallahan plays Paul Dreyfus. Yeah. He, that's how he's boss now. Yeah, he's been around Another interesting too. thing mm. about this one is that he died before this yeah. movie came out. Oh, did he? Yeah. Didn't know that. He yeah. died in the movie and died before the movie came out. Wow. Mm. Well, anyway, so moving on. Damn. Um, so he. Shame. Don't let me tell you something about Dante's Peak. <clears throat> it has a volcano and the place is very in a small t- town of sorts. Yeah. And Up the, the hills. and the volcano has not erupted in the last say so no many years. A long time. Yeah. yeah, the last time it's probably erupted was probably when the dinosaurs were around. That was probably it. Hmm. But don't take it for me. There was probably a lot of volcanoes that have gone um, sleep. A lot, yeah, a lot of volcanoes have gone inactive. That doesn't hmm. mean... I mean, some go to sleep totally. Hmm. But some only go dormant and they can... Yeah. Given the right set of circumstances, yeah. become And react, all the time, uh, the again. town hmm. thinks the volcano is dead or, or not asleep or anything like that. Anyway, Dalton goes there. He meets the mayor uh, and coffee um, person. What's her name? Um, Rachel, who's the mayor of the town. Ta- of the town, and she gives him a tour of the town. And she meet. He lets him meet her kids. Yeah, um, nice looking little girls. Cute. Graham and Laurie, which are nice and cute yeah, kids. The little girls, cute. I like it. Reminds me of my little. Niece, yeah, they picked a, niece, they picked some ideal mm-hmm. kids because they do look like yeah. her a little bit, or at yeah. least the girl does. Yeah, she does actually. Good, good casting, yeah. Good casting on their part. <coughs> so That's, anyway, they go up to um her mother-in-law's house, um the grand um the um grandma's to the um kitties, obviously. Yeah, and, and she lives up near where the volcano yeah. is, a lot closer yeah. than town. Yeah. Of course, yeah. she's um least skeptic, mm. thinking. That nothing will happen then and hasn't happened well, now. See, they're, they're not investigating anything yet. No. Anyway, <laughs> Dalton discovers um, a few <coughs> trees that are dead and probably a few animals that are dying because a couple of squirrels will be dropping out of yeah. the trees and stuff. And yeah, maggots have when they're about to go maggots. swimming um, at a sort of a spa, um, a hot, a hot spa, spring, spa, yeah. and it turns out 
that he gets his another bit of evidence of two um, hitchhikers who got burnt to death yeah. by the um, boiling water. Yeah, they were cooked. Mm. Yes. So this gives um, Dalton um, a chance to ring in the heavy art artillery. He brings his friends in. Yes, so they come in, and he tries to put tries to get the mayor's council to order and tell them this is we're we're in big trouble now. But one or two of them keep saying that that if because they're going to hopefully build a factory there, and it's for, with this bus- businessman. Yeah. And if he if he gets the word that that something like this is going to happen, he'll take his uh, money and run. Exactly, and he did run. But in this case, he doesn't, because one of the guys says, "If we so much as so much as cough about a volcano eruption or It'll suspected oh, volcano yeah. eruption, then we will be in trouble and we'll be in uh, horribly embarrassed if it doesn't happen." Exactly. So everyone is in um, doubtful mode. They can't work out whether there's going to be eruption or just. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much the Dalton character. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pierce Brosnan said that. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be. And his boss says, "We're not going to say yes or no until we do all the investigations." Yeah. Yeah. And mm. of course, Dalton um, was told to be relieved and go back. To yeah, go back on holidays. Yes, but, but Dalton go, wants to stay he? behind because yeah. he wants to to find out for himself <laughs> that he he's on the right track. Well, he had a gut feeling. He's been there before in other places, and he yeah. and he was his best. And, and actually, his boss said, "You are my best operative." Yeah. So, yeah. But he had a nice. He didn't believe in gut instincts. The boss. He said, "I want. I want cool, hard facts." You know, yeah, yeah. But then again, mm. there were dead bodies there. Hang your head, hang. Yeah, that could be anything. Yeah. You know, they yeah, were boiled. Yeah. yeah they, technically. Yeah. Like anyway, a, a suntan lotion. They didn't yeah. have the right. Yeah. yeah. No, so no. Dalton and the <clears> mayor <throat> Rachel, they begin. Um, Starting to warm up to each other in this later on, you and betcha. she begins to help them by offering some coffee. Even one of the guys who's acting hyper about coffee, 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 and take gas sample of course, readings and course, temperature readings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course, that do. One of the guys removed a certain box off from the machine because tracking device. Yeah, because like that a, allows like to an track the, on a boat. Yeah, yeah. so this mm. allows them to track the um, wherever the robot is. So Ben, this plays a very important key role in it this does. production. In this production, he stole it. He's going to get. A, he's going to take it to. Uh, no, 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 that's pawn shop. No, no. no. So moving no, on. Okay. Sorry. So they end up going up to the um <laughs> to the to the top of the volcano. The robot is moving a little sluggish because the robot isn't isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, moving around really well. And in the process, they hear some rumblings underneath the earth or underneath the near the volcano. It's a, slight, a slight earthquake. Yeah, yeah, and starts tremoring up, and then um, one of the men gets really badly hurt. And some rocks go down and break his leg or something. Yeah, and head. they decide to mm. call in their whole helicopter man, who is an unreasonable guy. He's really a, j- a jerk, this volcano guy, because he's all about, oh, I, I, I like to have my uh, lunch break soon. Oh, I want to be, I want to discuss my next paycheck. <laughs> Good mm. grief. And my rates He's going to try. And these two he's men, are, these, guys these two men are stuck on top of a mountain, and he's rode about his payment. What an idiot! Mm. Moving on, so they get rescued, and Dalton is more than ever trying to convince his boss that he feels that this volcano is unstable, and it's and despite the readings, it it feels quite safe. Unsafe. He said it had a bit of a tremor, and he thinks. Nah, it's not going to amount to anything. It's going to yeah, be uh, and uh, the party's over, folks. You know, yeah, that sort they, of thing. Yeah, they, they are readings, he wrong? Yeah. the readings indicate that it's not very feeling very strong yeah, yeah, or yeah. high. Yeah, yeah, there's no tremors, no aftershocks. There's no this, there's no that. Yeah, nothing oh, to wife. indicate that mm. it's going to erupt anytime soon. It'd be like, it was the night before Christmas on all through the house. Not the creature was stirring, not even a mouse. It's like that, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, he's told they're going to be bailing shortly, so um, he has a moment to hang out with Rachel for a say another one more night. <laughs> and they would have gone down to business, but then um, they discover something really thing, sort of something that tips the scales of 
most likely yeah. this is going to erupt. They turn the water on. Yeah. And it's not clean and nice water. Yeah, see, it's one of the – her daughter, Laurie, wanted a drink of water. I drink water, mate. And they – so her mother pours some water out, and it's all orangey and very yeah, polluted. Yeah, it smells of sulfur dioxide, mm-hmm. and that would indicate something has gone amiss with the local yeah, water supply. Yeah, so they go which to which is up in the mountains. Yeah, so mm. they go to the lo- the local water supply place, and they found um some of the um um some gases, uh, some le- a leakage. It's a leak. So, yes, yeah, some chemicals leakage, whatever we're getting into the um. The water supply and turning it into, I suppose, pretty much uh, almost like sulfuric acid. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so he goes to his boss and gives him the proof, <laughs> and they they then drink dis- it? <laughs> and then they discover just then that the readings have gone up, meaning the volcano was erupting any t- very soon. Yeah, not, not tomorrow, mm. not next week, soon. Yep. And we it, need to have a council uh, a town meeting pronto. Yeah. Mm. So, um. Rachel goes on the news, tells them about an upcoming meeting of evacuating the whole town. Of course, um, her, she tries to convince her mother-in-law that what's happening. Yeah, silly old bat. Who <laughs> says, I'm not leaving, yada, yada, yada. It's hint- hinting that you can hear the conversation from here, if you could. Yeah. It's like, one of those conversations nah, nah. where you can hear across the um, Alps, if you can. Yeah, <laughs> Yes, so she hangs up and the kids try to coax their uh, grandma to come down, but she still doesn't answer her phone. So the precocious little 12-year-old or 13-year-old, whatever he was, or 14-year-old, uh, gets in the car. And tries to get and, it. And he drives up to the uh, mm. grandma's house. Meanwhile, yeah. while this is happening, mm. um, Dalton and Rachel and all the other townspeople, they are discussing the um, chance of evacuating the whole town. But in an orderly fashion. But then orderly hat fashion turns into a panic because soon enough the shaking begins yeah, to ha- happen. An eruption is starting yeah. and the things fall down, the roof, yeah. roof panels fall yeah. down, the lights fall down, people try, 500,000 people try to go through a skinny door. You know, yeah, you know. soon enough everyone is running and trying to make it across the um, last remaining bridge out of town. Which collapses. Yeah. Uh, huh? Handy, hey. Well, yeah. no. No, 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 the past collapse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the other past yeah, 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 collapses. Yeah, no, yeah, the bridge collapse uh, went away later on, yeah. Yes, mm. and of course, um, Dalton and uh, Rachel, mm. they head off to her house to find, to find, get the kids, but the kids are gone, as we predicted. We're going to Grandma's house. Yes. Oh, right. So it's up Good to kids. Rachel and Dalton to go to the mm. Grandma's house and get them, and her, obviously. And while this is happening, our... Um, the, one of the um, mayor's people, staff, and the wealthy man I mentioned, um, they decided to take a helicopter ride through the volcano ash. Yeah, and, well, they didn't, not through the ash. I mean, the, the ash was coming down, and they, the uh, helicopter guy being a green yeah. little turd. Yeah, he, he asked, he, he, he was, was saying, given... He was given $10,000 a head. Yeah. And, and these two guys said, yeah, pay it, let's get out of here. But you shouldn't be taking a helicopter up when yeah. all the ashes in yeah, the sky. Yeah, if yeah, yeah mm. I would have thought that if you were vol- if you were staying to be a, vol- a, a pilot. helicopter pilot guy, yeah, helicopter that would be the plane. first thing mm. you learn in yeah. helicopter safety. Do quite, not fly it, 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 in yeah. during a volcano eruption. The air, the air, well, forget whatever. There's any contaminants in the air, big dust clouds, whatever. What happens is you got your air intake. Mm. You know, in a car you've got an air filter, and so. Mm. I presume it's an air filter and aeroplanes and uh, helicopters, much the same as a car. What happens is it gets clogged up. Hmm. And the part which doesn't clog it up bypasses it and gets down into the cylinders and, and uh, erodes the cylinders yeah. and the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, I learned this mm. in aircraft investigations <laughs> where an airplane was flying through a volcano cloud and this kind of um, affected their engines. In a big way. In a big way. And, and I used to work at the local airport too, so yeah, I, I, I picked up a lot of knowledge hmm. out there about aeroplanes. So yeah, you just do not play with them. Mm-hmm, true. Yeah, if, it's, if it's not safe, don't fly them. Yeah, mm. so he should have known better, or at least... But he should have. Yeah. Oh no, they should take him, pick him up, his dead body, and arrest him and put him in jail. Mm, good point. Uh-huh. So mm. anyway, um, they... Tr- um, Dalton's boss tries to coax the airplane pilot to not fly, but unfortunately, as Mike and I predicted, um, the helicopter begin engines start phasing out and they crash into into the ground. Bang. 
Anyway, moving on. So um, right along. Dalton and Rachel continue their drive up the mountain, and by the time they get to the top, to that part of the mountain, the roads get well. It's the uh, washed the, away. Oh, no, all the, all the acid, ash. Oh, where have we already up? Where are you now? Are you near the house? Well, getting there. Remember, it was kind yeah. of um, the roads got um, blocked out, they meaning blocked, yeah. there were no chance of them getting down. No, no, no. Yeah, the, yeah, you got, you got the, uh, some of the uh, roads what got damaged to landslides and yeah. lava flows. And, and when the kids get there, else, of yeah. course, once the kids <clears throat> and Rachel and Dalton arrive, she's like, her, the grandma's saying that, now take the kids home and all that stuff, but there's no home to go home to. And, uh, and there's no road to drive drive home to on, uh, uh, on whatever. That yeah, thing. I don't know why the grandma was so in denial because... She didn't want to leave her home. Her husband and her built the place. They grew old there. He's dead. Yada yada yada. And her yada, son yada, is yada. um, uh, has left town. Yeah, and, and she didn't want to leave her little house. Yeah, but you got to admit she was Aww. being unreasonable. Like, she was. She, old woman. she kept thinking that there was no chance of a volcano eruption. I'm going to stay here, but she put the little children at risk. Yeah. Yeah. I mm. mean, what was that stuff that was coming from the sky? Oh, uh, that's like ash and pumice. And yeah, stuff, exactly. Whatever. What was she thinking? It was snow. Well, it's actually, no, I know, I know what they actually is, but I don't know. But <laughs> she should later. have figured it out, realised that they're, they were running a dang, dangerous risk yeah, of staying yeah. there. But anyway, irrespective. Anyway. Uh, Dalton talks around, yeah, come on, Ruth, they got to get your, your act together. They quickly get some yada, stuff yada. together, and suddenly the lava the, starts. Hit, well, and it, come, it hits the house, knocks the wall in on while they're on the way out of the house. Yeah. How you would think they would have had one person at least looking outside for the lava flow. Yeah. You would yeah. think. Yeah, soon enough, all the um, the cars, um, they We're gobbled up. Gobbled up. Lava. And mm. the only place they can go is onto a boat that Roof has to that go across the, to the, crow lake. Across the mm. lake. And as they go across the lake, the fish are already dead uh-huh. and the boat and the water has turned to acid. Yeah, the uh, sulfuric... Uh, there's sulfur dioxide bubbling up through the water has uh, gradually turned the uh, lake into a sulfuric acid. So this aluminium boat is starting to be slowly eaten away and starting to get little leaks. Yeah. The propeller gets chewed out by the acid, so they yeah. can't do it. Yeah. And they've got to try and get to shore on the other side. And what happened then? <laughs> well, then um, they they tried to um, Dalton uses his, his he, um, jacket wrapped around, his arm. wrapped around his arm to paddle the boat to this yeah. to the. Um, and it wasn't jetty. going too fast, so Roof, you know, feeling responsible for everybody, jumped in the water, which was only a little over waist deep, and she dragged the boat to shore. And they made it just in, in time. time, and then she snuffed it. Yeah. Well, she didn't snuff it right there. Oh, shortly so they thereafter. Ca- Dalton carries her a bit, but she's slowly dying. There's no chance of going to... There's no help anywhere. And she was a crispy critter by now. Yeah, yeah um, her yeah. legs were badly burnt from yep. all the well, acid. Every, and yeah. bur- well, and everything from the, the waist down or chest mm. down, yeah. So she was she was not going to be happy chappy, no. Yeah, mm. anyway... Mm. Okay, eventually they find a, um, a car at the um, probably Ranger, Ranger, Ranger Station, station yeah, yeah, yeah. and Harry hot wires it. He does something to it anyway, yeah. Yes, and they mm, then... I don't know how to do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. they drove off, and eventually, meanwhile, while this is happening, um, his team are about to evacuate too. See, they stayed around to watch all the activity happening. And to make sure they get all the, the data they needed. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So while this is happening, they get evacuated mm-hmm. by the army guys. They get their National army... Guard, yeah, National Guard. Yeah, National Guard guys. Guard, yeah. Mm. And they evacuate, and all except his boss get washed away because... Because of a fl- of a, um, a flood. No, yeah. What happened is that all the heat from the uh, lava flow melt, melted all the, uh, the ice and snow up on the uh, ridge, and there must be a lot of it. And it came down this sort of ravine or whatever yeah. into where the dam was, and, and obviously lots it. of debris, trees, and water hidden there. And then the dam collapsed, and and then it went down through the bottom end of the river and yeah. took the bridge out. And Ta-da! while he's um, being crushed to death, we hear him say the famous owl noise that you hear in in Star Wars and Indiana Jones. I've got another one. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's my favourite one. No, it's just that... I know. Well, I always call it as the... They call it the crocodile cry noise. It came from a... Yeah, it came from a a famous um, famous 
funny comedy movie, and that okay. and for years a lot of filmmakers have used that particular well, cry for for their movies. Well, actually, I've noticed that in some old movies there they actually had uh, a stockpile of screams and other things and yeah. and moans and and yeah, then they just, just bung them in. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. a famous yeah. cry. Interesting. Even if it's some um, person you don't know or you know the character who never says that type of ouch in his life would then be oh dubbed in goodness, would then be dubbed by that very yeah. scream Ow. so anyway moving Whatever. on moving right along yes uh, eventually Don and the kids they go through um, a, f- a, f- a few of the mountain pastures they eventually find um, the roofs the grand, their grandma's dog, who's been running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, when the kids got the grandma's house, the dog ran away. Of course, he got scared because he knew the lava was coming. Yeah, he was covered in. Um, yeah, he was covered in um, probably a bit of flakes from the ashes, yeah, and yeah. he eventually jumps on into the car yeah. and with the kids. Well, they're going across these hot rocks, which is obviously part of the lava. Not lava flow, but some of the hot rocks from yeah. the volcano, which set fire to the tyres, as one would, and uh, yeah. I'm quite surprised that the petrol tank didn't explode. Funny that, hey. But anyway. Yeah, eventually they rode back into the town, and of course the bridge is gone, and the rest of the town is gone, covered in flakes of of ash, and no, and there's no no other place to go. Anyway, yeah. eventually Don gets um that special box I mentioned. That's Oh yeah, that, that that little box off that little creepy crawly uh, machine thing. Mm. It was um, a distress radio beacon, which is like an EP of these and boats. Like you go down, it sends a signal. Yeah, out. I yeah. meant we mm. mentioned this early, yeah. so it plays yeah. a key go, part to this. Movie. So he gets that and t- puts it in the car, and they start driving. Yeah. Before he can get to that part, yeah. he discovers that the um, there's going to be some more eruptions coming coming yeah, on. Yeah, he has a quick look at the laptop computer there. But, yeah. but the thing is now. At this point here, doesn't that, that that pyro classic flow thing started? Yeah. And that was quite a distance away, and obviously yeah. moving a lot faster than you can yeah. drive. Yeah, see, this one yeah. will damage <clears throat> everything. It will destroy... Oh, knock over trees, at fire yeah, and stuff. Knock over yeah, trees. Yeah. Destroy and buildings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Practically blow the whole thing. Yeah, I think it's called out. a pyroclastic flow or a pyroclastic cloud or something rather. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. like a huge bomb that well, destroys yeah, everything. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, like you see in those... Uh, as a uh, atomic bomb sort of a blast when you know, the wind goes there and blows everything over and sets fire to houses. Not much different to that, but maybe yeah. not quite as intense. Yeah. But same Eventually, sort of thing, Dalton yeah. and the kids and Rachel, they end up heading into a mine shaft that... Um, the tunnel, is, tunnel. A mine shaft tunnel, and which we fe- we discovered earlier where Graham used it as a bit of a hideout for his, for his friends. Yeah. And he had a few supplies there, like a few yeah, chips, chips and, and, stuff, and, and sodas and, yeah. and stuff. And Every- some it's kerosene lanterns and stuff. And yeah, so yeah. it was set up for a couple of days for him. Yeah, quite. Yeah. It was, what if there's a toilet in there? Uh, you oh. may want to think about that one. <laughs> so anyway, they eventually arrive in there and this, it's safe and they eventually get out. And but dear old Dalton is forgetful of capacity, left the box in the car. So he went back to the car to try to turn it on. Yes. And uh, then the uh, he gets into the car. And. and then the a uh, bit of a uh, cave in happens around the car, and it's almost like a sardine can. He's stuck in there. You yeah. Know? Eventually, yeah. he does eventually get the box working. Yeah, yeah, and it starts going beep, beep, beep. beep. And then eventually mm. it does get picked up by the his, guys back at his, his it, team guys. Yeah, we're back in wherever they were, wherever they're based. But the thing is, yeah, the guy walked in there, well, how long has that been beat before? A couple of days? Well, he said um, one or two days, that's yeah, what he said. Yeah, a couple of days, a couple of days, two days. Yeah. Well, you would think someone would have noticed it before then. Yeah, well, eventually that, yeah. the guy who got injured earlier, yeah, he, got the he leg, um, yeah. said, thank you, NASA, thank, thank you, NASA. NASA. Yeah, yeah. And then and eventually... Then, Fast forward, we right. um, yeah, the, the National the, Guard, or National Guard yeah. and some of the um, people return to get um, Dalton and the kids out. And yeah. eventually, at first, we don't think the kids have survived or the mother, well, we but know. we eventually he eventually sees them and he takes her into his arms and kisses her and hugs the kids, and uh, they eventually evacuate like everyone else. And all the kids said, yay, the school's been burnt down. Yeah. Yes. And anyway. And he promised earlier to the kids that they were going to go uh, fishing. Fishing somewhere. So, well, the school's gone. 
Mm. Well, we go fishing. Mm. Yes. Mm. And eventually we watch them get into an el- helicopter. Mm. Now the um the volcano mm. eruption is it over. It settled down. So yeah. everything's settled down and cooled. So they flew away. And as they go past the uh, volcano, it's it shows the desolately um horrible, horrible mess it made. Yeah, that's. I, I think it means they show the the town and the. Uh, the volcano was settled down into, I think, something called a caldera. Mm-hmm. It, it's just like a, where it just, yeah. It calms down. It calms down again or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And they were a- irrespective. It reminded me a lot of um, Silent Hill. Yes, there's lots of ash and crap, but a lot more buildings were broken here. Yeah, mm. reminds me of the, that last a little bit too. What was it? Never mind. Another one. Uh, no, it's sort of a, like, yeah, abandoned town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's our last two, I should say, yep. more likely. Anyway, I do think this movie was pretty cool, and I like the um how that it was a bit of, and I like the character development in it. Yeah, of course, yeah. And I do like the major disaster, as I often say to you guys. Major disasters are very scary, and they do pent up the emotions, when, especially when you don't know if anyone will survive. Mm. I mean, um. Don't get me wrong, um, like slashes, like killers, um, creepy monsters, I love them. all yeah. those above that you have watched over the years, nothing compares to a natural disaster. That could happen to anyone. Yeah, and and that's, that's something we talk about a lot here, that if you make a movie, whether it's a factual movie, fiction, fantasy, having a touch of reality in it to make it come real, well... I think a natural natural disaster like a volcano or an earthquake or a tsunami or a bushfire, well, we can all identify those because they're real. Yeah, and, and so that brings the, mo- the yeah. movie together and quite nicely. Yeah, I've, mm. as you guys are were aware, I'm doing a documentary at the moment with for with a lot of filmmakers and actors, and most of them have described that that last year has brought them new perspective on life yeah. and never and to never take things for granted. Exactly. Again. I didn't. It has mm-hmm. it has brought a turn on everyone and yeah. getting everyone through the port. See, 12 months ago, right at the beginning of the epidemic, that's when we started these podcasts. Mm-hmm. True. Ah. But just so you know, guys, I didn't want to make a podcast because of the this what's no, happened. But, we, but the things were slowing down, so yeah. we, we, st- we thought, well, what a great time to start doing yeah, it. The yeah, only time, mm-hmm. the only reason I did put together a podcast was because I wanted to discuss with you guys about filmmaking. And movie reviews and stuff. Well, yeah. mostly, yeah, I suppose reviews and, and telling the stories. and But, you know, yeah, so we've had I, a great so time. So I have been planning this for a lot longer than before this, the, yeah, yeah. That, that happened. Well, we've done over 100 movies now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's uh, going up to, let me see, um, 150. How I mean, many? 105, sorry. 105, yeah, 105, yeah, yeah. So it's, we've done well. Yeah, I think we did really incredible, guys. I mean, I hope you found them entertaining. Um, we look, we're having a ball doing this, and we <laughs> like to think we're bringing a bit of joy to some people out there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, the point is that um, we're just trying to bring movies to people's mm. attention that they may not be aware of. It's sure, okay, we did Star yeah, Wars I have and stuff. A number but, of people know, ask, yeah. telling me whenever I do a, a new movie or an old movie that they've never seen before. They are a bit grateful to us that mm. that they they brought us we brought this brought movie to their, to their attention. Well, you're like I was saying, we reviewed the Alien and uh, Star Wars, right? Now, we, I had a friend who passed away a couple of years ago. He's about my age. He's up around sixty. He'd never seen a franchise movie. He'd saw only seen standalone movies, so he hadn't seen the James Bond movies, hadn't mm-hmm. seen Star Wars, uh, hadn't seen anything like that, and. There must be other people out there who say, "Oh, I'm, I'm not getting stuck in the franchise stuff." So, if we if we review a franchise like that, I mean, it could be a stimulus to somebody to go and watch something they haven't oh. seen before. Oh, by the way, hmm. another Easter egg I should mention. Oh, I like Easter eggs. Um, the footage for the last scene where we see a helicopter, um, of the helicopter leaving. they were in leaving the volcano site, that was used in Cabin in the Woods. You know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that was used. That was used footage See? that they used for this, for that. Ah, well. To sort of pad it out, if that's the word for. It. Yeah. Hmm? I'm gonna go through a bit of production. What pad it out? Just as yeah. an Easter egg. I'm gonna go through a, f- a bit of uh, production stuff here now. 
Okay, this is released, uh, what, February, wasn't it? Yeah, February uh, 97. The filming started in May the previous year. Um, it was shot on a case in that Wallace, Idaho. Now, I don't know America very well, so the people over there in America know the area. Well, that's where I was. Okay, exterior shots of the, the post office in Malibu were used as the office of the... Uh, these geologist guys, yeah, the volcanologists. Uh, yeah, um, da, 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 what else is there? Um, some the robot stuff uh, was done in the crater of Mount, Mount St Helens. Wow. Mhm. So it was a real volcano, an, an old one. Um, and um, what else? What else? There's a can I say there's a shitload of CGI in this? Um. No. Okay. I, can, okay, I won't say that. <laughs> but there was. Um, there's a lot of CGI in this. I mean, it, it really made it come together. But there's also a lot of model making and other things happening. And yeah. uh, just yeah, everything yeah. they could throw at it. Was, I think it was over 300 odd people. Yeah. Yeah, 300 technicians were involved in making this movie. Cool. So that's a lot of uh, work. And here's something I, I, I thought, found was quite good. The um, All the ash they were using... It was, was actually, newspaper. No, it wasn't. Well, close. It was cellulose insulation manu- uh, uh, manufactured by Suncrowd uh, in Indiana. And they actually made it and they uh, spray and sort of stuff. Maybe a lot of stuff we've got in our house here. That's, that, that, that's a paper-based, you spray it in. So they use that. And they used lots and lots and lots of it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, in other yeah, words, they, they used the um, the shreds of newspaper. No. They shred it down. No, it's not a... shred. They, they, they masticate it down a bit, a bit, yeah, and they make it, pulp it and everything else. So they can actually spray it in for a machine. We've got in the house here. Hmm. Yeah. It's not just shredded paper. It's it's, it's got fiery tar. I know. They, stuff they, and, they just um, and, yeah, and um, stuff. Yeah. shred it down to hmm. nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, they make it and make it small, yeah, mm. and that's what they used. So, so they actually used paper insulator, with so so it wouldn't actually catch fire accidentally because there was so much of it around. You wouldn't want a real fire starting, would you? Mm. Have a real disaster movie, wouldn't you? Yeah, everyone got killed making the movie. No, that wouldn't be very good. Would yeah, it? so not to be rude or anything, mm. I'm not comparing too many of this to volcano, but both movies are incredible when I look at them. Oh yeah, I mean. The other volcano movie takes place in Los Angeles in a volcano yeah, that. Well, Brea that's, Tar Pit, like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, under it, and this takes place with Up tour, Mills. Yeah, yeah, and I the mean, vo- and the volcano is way deep underneath the surface of and, the earth. And the thing is, obviously, apart from the the volcano activity and say from people running around, never decrease in circles trying to escape, um, you've got to have a basic storyline behind it now. I think one of the uh, critics uh, mentioned uh, that apart, you know, that something along those lines that, oh, apart from all the action stuff of the volcano eruption, the story was pretty weak. I don't think it was weak. I mean, you can't have action, 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 action from day from moment one on the movie yeah. if the thing's going to well, happen the second, last yeah. third of the movie, the last half of the movie. You've well, got comparing them, the, the quiet the, time the as well. Two, hmm. There were a few um, scenes where in the in Los Angeles, I mean the the volcano one. Mm-hmm. That one had a little bit of eruptions and a little a little bit well, before. Well, that's the uh, yeah. Um, it started a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. unlike yeah. um mm-hmm. um Dante's Peak, which um happened much later. Even though we they get alerted by yeah. a few um you know. But you look at Dante's Peak started place. with an earth uh, a volcanic eruption in Colombia, so it started exciting. Yeah, and it did. And then seven years later. Nice, everything's peaceful in this little country town up in the hills, yeah. And then, ooh, someone died. Something else, and they gradually. Okay, Felt that I, from there. okay, let's say let's say they build it up a bit slower. Hmm. And when it started, hmm. it was full on. That's it. So and I reckon it worked. I mean, I don't care what the, the critics say. They're, they're, some of these critics are idiots. They yeah, wouldn't well, know a good movie that fell over one. So, I think you know, that they uh, yeah. this one probably watched both of them and think. Um, the other one was much well, more busier and exciting. I would say, really, what dampened it was not that. Ah, because this movie came out. Uh, it wasn't nominated for any awards or anything. Damn. For special effects or anything. Because that's stiff competition. Ah. The Lost World Jurassic Park, ah. Starship Troopers, and drumroll, <laughs> Titanic. 
Oh, I get it. So he has three good movies at the same time. <laughs> so this got uh, the, the critics got to say, "Oh, I like these other movies better." So let's stump on this other one. So oh, yeah, yeah. Boy. So yeah, uh, it's a bit rude. I it think is they're rude. all good movies. Actually, I've seen all those movies. And I like all of them. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them too. And I have it in my collection. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder yeah. we might look at doing um, the Titanic. I yeah. haven't decided which <coughs> Titanic movie to I like the do. one with Leonardo DiCaprio in it, and she likes the one with... Uh, I like both of them, if yeah, you Yeah, well, the two of you, I mean. Yeah. yeah the Catherine Drew Jane one, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and that one, it just has more characters because mm. in... All, you just so you guys know, you know the, the fact that there are ca- the some of the characters in Titanic are real characters. Some, some of them, yeah. Like the they, co-star characters, I should mention. Yeah, they, they, they did base a few of the co-stars on real people, yeah. Yeah, like um, As- like Mr. Astor, Mr. Astor and, the and wealthiest wife. man in the... And, 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 and his wife, uh, whatever her name was, Molly Ishmael, Brown. Or, I mean, Ish, Ish, Ish. Uh, Ishmael, or whatever his name is. Ismay, or whatever his name is. Uh, whatever his name is. Uh, the owner of the <coughs> Titanic yeah. was on there, and yeah. he took the caraway out by jumping onto another boat. Mr. Mr. Ismay, whatever. Yes, got, whatever his name was, yeah. They they, they put some real char- real people from real life in there, so yeah. Yeah. To, yeah again, credibility, um, and that's what it is. And mm-hmm. Out of real life into a, well, you see, you can't actually say it's a a, a factual movie, uh, but it's based on fact. Mm, it's true. almost like a biodrama, but they've uh, romanticised it and put stuff in which probably what didn't happen and stuff. So. Um, not necessarily true to form when you say it's a true life indication of mm. what happened. Yeah, but yes, it, but it make, you makes you wonder though. Yeah, and of mm. course you know Molly from the Molly unsinkable Brown. Molly Brown. He's an in- interesting character. I wonder what the real really, really lady was like. <laughs> I think she was just as wild and, and exciting as as we portray. Yeah. I mean, she was described in all three movie, other movies that she was. Um, ex- she was very outspoken lady. Yeah, mm. and she was a woman that came from came from nothing. From nothing, yes, and she yeah, came yeah. from you know, and she made her money in even mining. Was it mining? Mining. Yeah, yeah. Or oil. Yeah, her, her and her husband, yeah, mining or oil, and they struck it rich. And well, yeah. there's no mention they must have gone their own separate ways. Yeah, well, mm. it, it did say that yeah. they divorced because each one had different views on what they wanted. Want in life. Yeah, yeah. So, so she, she wanted more, he didn't. Whatever. So she did her thing and she was um, from a boat cruise. But anyway. I like to think mm. that he might have um, re- reconciled with her eventually. Yeah, no mention well, of him maybe in the not. Future. But yeah, I, anyway. actually, I do like to think that he, when when she was on the Titanic, he did probably um, came back to her for a bit and just to see if she's all right. He probably still cared. I like to think Take so. Money, you know. mm, well, I think it's more to life than money, but I think he did well, care. Not for some people. Mm-hmm. But and, anyway, I don't care about money so myself. Back yeah. to this movie, I anyway. should mention. So, yeah, what did the reviewers say the, about this movie? I, there's not a lot of reviewers. I didn't take time to even bother. You know, um, but most of them said, "Yeah, um, where is it? Oh, um, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah." Although it was bigger. Although it was a bigger financial success than Volcano, released two months later, Dante's Peak received mostly negative reviews compared to the generally mixed reviews of its rival. So the one that made less money hmm. got better reviews. So, uh, so the Tommy Lee Jones movie Volcano got better reviews than this one yeah. for some silly reason. If anyway, you can hear th- my, uh, you can hear my eyes rolling at this point. Uh, amigo, groan. Uh, <laughs> now, some of those. Uh, things like Rotten Tomatoes and other things, um, they've actually said, oh, the, the special effects were good, but the storyline's lame. Um, and that's just based on, with 31 reviews, 31 people have gone on, I didn't like the story. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry. Yeah, they're not, they're not every, it's not an action movie. Yeah, it's supposed I'm to. Sorry, it's, it's sort of. Next, it is not it's sort of a movie, you know. drama with it's a bit a disaster of um, disaster thriller. in it. In. Disaster thriller, not disaster action. You want to get a disaster action? Get a war movie. Yeah, or go yeah, to Terminator. Yeah, yeah, or something, rather. Terminator or something. This is not an action movie. Yeah. yeah. I think that mm. seeing as that they had, they thought Linda Hamilton was in this, they probably thought or depicted that maybe this will be a, uh, you know, a, 
um, a na- natural disaster with action for hey, a look, minute. Linda Blair was in it. That mean her head's going to fall off? Mm, good point. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, Linda. <laughs> but th- they did say that they that Linda was in Terminator. They thought, assumed that maybe this was another one of those action movies. But, but wasn't put Even though it. I'd never seen her in anything other than Terminator. Oh, I've seen a couple of things, I think, but I can't remember. Um, but the point is, it doesn't, wasn't promoted as an action movie. Mm. Yeah, if you watch a drama movie, right, right, they can be slow and tedious to watch for some people. Mm. Okay? Because our, where's the action? Now, you, look, you buy a drama like Hitch, the one you like watching, you know? Mm. Now, that's good, but some people say, well, there's no action in it. Well, I'm sorry, it's not an action movie, it's a biodrama. Mm. If you're going to watch a comedy, you expect a comedy. You don't expect a slasher to go in there and kill everybody, do you? Uh, you watch an action movie, you don't expect a comedy unless it's a parody, you know. Um, anyway, I, do, yeah, I just yeah. do think that that Pierce Brosnan, he, I, I like. Pierce his, plays a good role. He played a good role in this. Yeah. And I like the fact that he 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 was, a, he just played. He just worked the role really well. Look, Pierce has really gone really good. He went from Spencer to he was in that. Um, mm. TV series Remington Steel. I thought he's, he's quite good. Not bad for a TV show, and he's not a bad actor. And all of a sudden, he pops up in movies, and he's been James Bond. He's been in this. He's been in some other really good movies. I wonder mm. about his, if using uh, some some sort of a Tommy Bomb placement thingy. I can't remember now. Like a spy. He's been yeah different movies, and he he always brings credibility to his roles. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And same. Well, and Tommy Lee Jones is no slouch either. I think Tommy Lee Jones is unreli- unreli- un un. Uh, I appreciate unappreciated. I often think Sorry, that. Uh, just breaking the news. Well, in I your do. Mouth. I do yeah. agree that yeah. Tommy Lee Jones was pretty awesome. I yeah. mean, he's got one of those faces which could fit any role. Yeah, I mean, look, he's been the first time I saw him in a movie years ago was I think it was in Blue Sky. Mm. Uh, I can't remember the co-star, the lady um, Jessica Lang, I think. Uh, they, he played an army guy, and then she was married to him, and she was the main part of it, and he was a husband, and things didn't go very good. And then I saw him in um, uh, Space Cowboys. I saw him in Under Siege. Uh, and I thought, well, this guy's a good actor. So they're both really good actors, and I think both those movies, Volcano and Darno yeah. Creek, really did well because yeah, those guys from, were in the um, This hmm. one and James Bond. Um, I've hmm. seen... Um, Pierce Brosnan in that Thomas Crown Affair movie. That's right, he was. Yeah, where yeah, he's, yeah. Um, uh, um, he 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 took a pa- a wealthy painting, and well, he just t- took it anyway. And didn't, didn't he actually own it? Um, no, he didn't remember. own it. <laughs> it um, he just they took, all give it back or something. Or he did eventually yeah. give it back yeah, yeah, in yeah, the most yeah, yeah. creative of ways. Yeah. 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 But that, that was a remake uh, who, who from was Steve McQueen's who, Steve version McQueen, yeah. of Thomas Steve Crown McQueen Affair. played the original one, yeah, yeah. And actually, Steve McQueen did a good version yeah. of that. And so, and yeah, I, he, just he, like Tommy yeah. Lee Jones, mm, yeah. I often think Steve McQueen is no, he's not handsome in my mind, but oh, he's, he's, he's a interesting. good, ro- interesting yeah. character. Well, you know, he's been. I mean, this is not about talking about Steve McQueen or him, but he's been in a lot of good roles. He was in Papillon. That's what I mean. I mean, uh, he was I in, mean, uh, if, was it? it doesn't have to be a handsome car- actor, but if you can, if he has a, a good face and he can appear act. as many different type of <laughs> roles, then he he's yeah. got it made for himself. You look at he's in The Great Escape. Mm-hmm. In the cooler again. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, yeah, yeah. He, he had his motorbike bit on that, and mm. yeah, yeah, everyone so liked him. Uh, that way, yeah, yeah, from an actor perspective, he was in a car racing movie, I think, years ago, like Le Mans or something like that. And he was in The Great Escape. Yeah, I just said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I think he's been in lots of other movies. Um, I, can't remember, I can't remember all at the moment. Uh, I'm not doing him at the moment. No, uh, not, maybe uh, next time. <laughs> well, maybe next time. He might be, pick on an actor and, and go for their career or something. I can't admit, it is hmm. sad that... Um, that um, that this movie got so di- didn't think, neither got I, any rewards I think it got or any of the reviews. Movies, the other movies were coming out at the same time mm. stopped it from getting more appreciation and more yeah. recognition. So, um, uh-huh. so too bad. I mean, it still made money, but it's not the point. I mean, if you spend a lot of time, effort, money, everything, throwing at the project, and you think it's a really, really good. Mm. And it gets squashed by other ones coming out yeah. at the same time. It, it would be just a, bit, a little bit disheartening yeah. for the guys another, making it. Yeah, another thing yeah. I'd like to bring up is with Steve McQueen and 
and Tommy Lee. Um, another thing I think when I look Steve at these McQueen two, and Tommy Lee. Yeah, yeah. Um, they look like they are natural for the roles. Like they, you often talk about um, yeah, yeah, the, the right people, uh, the for, right the people yeah. for the right role, and if they have a natural look, then it's believable. Yeah, no, yeah. So you wouldn't get Pee Wee Herman doing uh, Terminator. Exactly. He just would not suit the part. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, Pee Wee. Um, but the point is, yeah, to get the right, and that's what gets down to the uh, uh, the casting. Some of the people um, get it so right. Um, and well, I'm not saying every actor. And I'm not I'll, saying I will use the word actor and actress. And I'm not uh, saying the same thing. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. saying anything nasty about Pierce Brosnan, but I did think he looked great in this role. <laughs> so I'm not saying anything nasty about that. No, no, no. But the point is that when you get people, if you, if you're not, if the director, writer, collaborating, getting their heads together. They got an idea of what the person's going to look like and what sort of behaviour. I mean, if I was going to write a movie based in the country, mm. uh, and you're going to have a sheriff mm. in it, well, you know, you're going to get a, a chunky old sheriff, probably about sixty years old, a bit of a, uh, yeah, a, a bit of a country droll about him and stuff. I've already got pictures in my head. Mm. The same sort of guy who was in um, Psycho. Yeah, mm. that's that's that. Yeah, that's the, the, the vision I have in my head of a country sheriff. And that mm. sort of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and if these guys do the same thing and say, okay, I'm looking for a really nice like, leading lady type. Um, like in your movie, you may we wanted someone for Jessica's role, and she was a very strong-willed, um, good-natured, good-natured, but, but strong-willed, and she had uh, she was very focused, and she's. She knew where his career was going, and that's the person we got for the role who was almost the same as the role she's playing. Mm. Yeah. yeah, sounds great. Yes, yeah, should we um, rate this movie now? Oh, yeah, I'm I gonna mean, give it, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. Drum roll, but nine and a half. I'm gonna... Only reason why I'm not I'm, there's a couple of things I didn't like about little things just just for me from production wise, but but I think yeah, it's. Uh, Ten, but I'd say nine and a half this time. I'm going to say ten out of ten because yeah. I do like the story, love oh, the yeah. actors that they they pulled pulled in, and the fact that I do think that seeing as this takes place with a volcano <coughs> that they think doesn't is doesn't have a volcano eruption in the last few years. Actually, and uh, it's believable that these people. When we're in denial that there's any chance of it erupting. See, another point too. I, I spoke to you yesterday about this. Uh, that we live in Brisbane, okay, mm. in in uh, Queensland, Australia, and our shire is called Redland Shire. It's called Redland because the ground is a reddy, or the dirt is a reddy, orangey sort of colour, mm-hmm. more reddy. And I tried to Sarah, tried to explain Sarah that the reason why it's red because it's all volcanic soil, because this was a volcanic area. As well, you could plant a stick and a stick would grow. Yeah, you put a small house there, in a couple of years it's grown. Um, <laughs> it uh, it is a very fertile soil here. There's a lot of farms down here, or well, there were. They bulldoze them now. So, yeah, uh, this is a volcano, volcano, volcano area. I don't know where the volcanoes were because they've eroded over time, but they could come back if they if they if they weren't if they if they were not extinct or only dormant they could come back one day what a scary thought <laughs> um, i'm not being sarcastic or anything guys no, but, the point but it is, is a scary thought because we have some we have some small mountains around here it could be part of the uh, the volcano chain or yeah the or the um, the volcano may not have actually been here it might have been a crack in the ground where the lava just came up but didn't actually form a mountain i don't know much about volcanoes but i have seen that happen yes yeah, so the anyway yeah. i do think that it's that that's believable that the townspeople thinking that there's no chance in hell or heck that their volcano is going to erupt. It's been soon. asleep for thousands of years, whatever. Yeah, but they said about the Titanic boat, didn't they? It's not going to sink. Well, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as you guys know, the Titanic did sink. Yeah. The fish lover. It's a fish motel. No. Yeah. What? It is. The fish live down there. Yeah. yeah. I gotta admit though, uh, one of these days we'll we'll try to debate on which Titanic movie we'll review well, I next. I like the Leonardo DiCaprio one, but you like the other one, so we'll arm wrestle. Mm. <laughs> I do have some interesting facts to lay about the Titanic movie, but well, I would like yeah, to. Excellent. Sarah mention. has 
it's it's a fascination of Sarah's. He's been watching all these documentaries and biodramas and stuff. Well, I'm trying yeah. to fit in, just like Mike mm. was saying. I'm just trying to figure out how this may have happened. Yeah. There was a lot of things that that may have caused oh, it. Yeah. Like we're, even but we're not going to review it Human now. error yeah. was to blame for there's this lot, too. There's a lot of human error, but there's all of arrogance hmm. as well, um, which sank the boat. But we'll discuss that on another. Podcast? Yes. Yeah. So, um, this says, so this is about it for us tonight. So thanks for listening to us, and we'll see you guys for the next one. Bye for now. Bye.